Have you ever wondered why losing streaks seem to be more than just a string of bad luck? There's a certain mystique that surrounds the notion of a losing streak, a sort of ominous cloud that seems to follow us around, casting a shadow over our every endeavor. Losing streaks, or the phenomenon of experiencing repeated failures or losses, is a concept that transcends boundaries. It's not confined to a single domain, but is universally applicable. Whether you're in the throes of a heated video game session, placing your bets in the glitzy and glamorous world of gambling, or sweating it out on the sports field, losing streaks can strike anywhere, anytime. In the realm of video games, a losing streak can be as simple as a series of lost matches or as complex as a chain of failed strategies. In gambling, it can be a relentless drain of resources, with every roll of the dice seeming to conspire against you. And in sports, it can manifest as a series of lost matches or underperforming seasons, despite your best efforts and strategies. The common thread binding these different scenarios is the emotional response they elicit. Frustration, disappointment, anger, even despair. But why do we react so strongly to losing streaks? Are they really just a product of bad luck, or is there something more at play here? Many believe that losing streaks are nothing more than a run of bad luck, an unfortunate coincidence. But this oversimplifies the phenomenon. It disregards the complexities of human psychology, the intricate dance of thoughts and emotions that influence our actions and decisions. Others view losing streaks as a test of character, a challenge to overcome. But this perspective, while admirable in its resilience, can sometimes lead to unhealthy behaviours and attitudes like obsession or denial. The truth, as it often is, lies somewhere in between. Losing streaks are not just a product of luck, nor are they solely a test of character. They're a complex interplay of factors, both internal and external, that converge to create a unique, often frustrating experience. It turns out there's a lot more to losing streaks than just bad luck. So let's delve deeper, peel back the layers of misconceptions and reveal the truth about the curse of losing streaks. Imagine yourself playing your favorite video game and suddenly you just can't seem to win. The phenomenon of losing streaks in video games is as real as it is in any competitive environment. It's a sequence of defeats that can seem endless, and its effects can be quite profound. It starts with a single loss, followed by another and another, until it's a pattern that you can't seem to break. What makes this phenomenon particularly intriguing is how it can affect players' performance and attitudes. As the losses pile up, players may start to doubt their abilities, their confidence wanes, and their performance drops, leading to more losses. It's a vicious cycle, a downward spiral that can be incredibly hard to break, and then there's the psychological aspect of this phenomenon. The frustration and disappointment from repeated losses can lead to a state of emotional turmoil, a condition commonly referred to as tilting. When a player is on tilt, they're not thinking clearly. Their judgment is clouded by the negative emotions they're experiencing, and this, in turn, affects their ability to make sound decisions in the game. The concept of tilt originated from the world of poker, but it has found its way into the lexicon of video gaming. It's a state of mind where rational thought gives way to emotional reactions. When you're on tilt, you're more likely to make impulsive decisions, to take unnecessary risks, and to ignore strategic considerations, all in a desperate attempt to break the losing streak. And the most intriguing part, the more you want to break the losing streak, the more likely you are to tilt. It's a paradox that can be incredibly frustrating. You're trying to win, but your emotional state is actively working against you. In video games, losing streaks can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. The more you lose, the more you expect to lose. And this expectation then influences your performance, leading to more losses. It's a cycle that can be tough to break, but understanding it is the first step towards overcoming it. In video games, losing streaks can become a self-fulfilling prophecy, leading to what gamers know as tilting. Now let's take a look at how losing streaks play out in the world of gambling. The world of gambling is a tantalizing sphere, with its bright lights, its promise of quick riches and the thrill of risk. But it also has a darker side, a side where losing streaks can send a player spiraling into a pit of despair. 
Losing streaks in gambling are not just a run of bad luck. They're a psychological pitfall, a trap that ensnares the mind and refuses to let go. The thrill of the game, the high of a win, can quickly turn into a desperate need to recoup losses. This desperation can lead to a phenomenon known as chasing losses, where the gambler continues to bet in the hope of recovering their lost money. This is where the gambler's fallacy comes into play. This is the belief that if something happens more frequently than normal during a certain period, it will happen less frequently in the future or vice versa. In the context of gambling, it's the idea that a string of losses must inevitably be followed by a win. This fallacy can keep gamblers stuck in a losing streak as they continue to bet, believing their luck is bound to change. But the reality is harsh. The odds of winning do not increase with the number of losses. In fact, each gamble is an independent event unaffected by previous results. Yet the gambler's fallacy can blind players to this fact, leading them to make riskier bets and exacerbating their losing streak. The psychological impact of losing streaks in gambling can be devastating. They can lead to financial ruin, strained relationships and a host of mental health issues. The desperation to win, the belief in the gambler's fallacy, the inability to quit while they're behind, these factors can all contribute to a vicious cycle of loss. In gambling, a losing streak can quickly spiral out of control, leading to devastating consequences. Switching gears, let us delve into the realm of sports. The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat, and the spectre of the losing streak. Yes, the losing streak, that dreaded run of consecutive losses, is a phenomenon as old as competition itself. Just like in video games and gambling, losing streaks in sports can have a significant impact on a team or an individual player's morale and performance. Picture a football team that has lost five games in a row. The players' heads hang low, their steps are heavy, and there's a palpable sense of disappointment in the air. The same goes for a tennis player who has lost several matches consecutively. The bounce in their step is gone, replaced by a sluggish walk to the baseline. But why does this happen? How does a losing streak affect the psyche of an athlete? The answer lies in the pressures that come with the territory. The pressure to win, to perform, to meet expectations, these are all psychological burdens that athletes carry with them, and when they're on a losing streak, these pressures mount, often leading to a self-fulfilling prophecy of more losses. This psychological pressure, coupled with the physical demands of the sport, can create a vicious cycle. The more games or matches they lose, the lower their confidence falls, and the lower their confidence, the harder it becomes to break the losing streak. It's a cycle that can be incredibly challenging to break, especially without the right mental fortitude. In sports, as in life, losing is inevitable. Every athlete, no matter how talented, will face a losing streak at some point in their career. But it's how they respond to these streaks, how they handle the psychological pressures that truly defines them as athletes. In sports, a losing streak can truly test the mental fortitude of even the most seasoned athletes. So why do losing streaks lead to tilting? As we delve into the psychology behind this phenomenon, it's important to note that tilting isn't just a state of mind. It's a visceral reaction, a manifestation of our innate flight or fight response. When we lose, we feel frustration. This is a natural reaction to failure and in moderation can be a healthy motivator. However, when losses pile up, this frustration can escalate into pressure. This pressure can be self-imposed or come from external sources like peers or an audience. And when the pressure is on, it's easy to succumb to negative thinking. We start to doubt our abilities, our strategies, our decisions, everything that once made us confident and successful. This is the downward spiral of tilting. Now let's imagine this scenario in a game of poker. You've been losing hand after hand, and with each loss, your stack of chips dwindles. The pressure mounts. You start making rash decisions, betting more than you should in a desperate bid to regain your lost ground. You're tilting. Your emotions are clouding your judgment, leading you further down the path of defeat. But it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding the psychology behind tilting can equip us with the tools to combat it. Deep breathing, for instance, can help to manage stress levels and clear your mind. Positive self-talk can counteract negative thinking. And taking breaks can give you a much-needed respite from the pressure, allowing you to regroup and strategize. 
Moreover, accepting that losing is a part of the process can go a long way in maintaining emotional stability. Nobody wins all the time. Even the most successful individuals have faced their fair share of losses. What sets them apart is their ability to learn from these failures, to adapt and bounce back stronger. In conclusion, tilting is a psychological reaction to a series of losses. It's a cycle of frustration, pressure and negative thinking that can be broken with the right coping mechanisms and a healthy mindset. Understanding the psychology behind tilting can be the key to breaking free from the chains of a losing streak.